explore um, a little bit further down the coast from where we were yesterday. Got a couple of baits soaking and um, heading out onto the rocks over there. I'm going to go see if we can pluck up a quick squid. Mate set up behind me over there with the uh, surf casters. Apparently there's been some good snapper in the bay here so hopefully get a couple of those. I'm just going to pop up onto this little ledge here. Chuck a little eggy around and see if we can get some squid to go with it. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully this turns into another epic video. See you soon. Well shit. Uh, I need to go wander back and get another jig now. The uh, terrain, as great as it looks, is extremely, extremely snaggy. So I'm going to go back and get another jig and see if there's anything on the snapper sets. See, the old mate's been uh, getting up a couple of times to go tend the rods, so might mean there might be some snapper action coming soon. Let's go have a look. It's also a fun fact about this area. It's a bird sanctuary and one of very few that have wild kiwi cruising up and down the beach. So if we're lucky, once it gets a bit darker, might come into contact with some kiwi. Now I've only ever seen them once or twice. I've been coming here quite a bit, but stoked we can find one of them. Always see the tracks on the beach, so they're definitely coming on down here for a feed. So might be lucky, might be lucky. Fingers crossed. The walk of shame. Back to get more gear. Uh, David's lying down. As uh, it seems to be following a bit of a similar pattern to yesterday. He's uh, tending the rods ever so tentatively while he's lying down flat on his back. Hard work finding a good crew. How good is that? Notice the guys down here who are uh, doing a bit of drone fishing, so I went over for a yarn and offered to take a line out for us. So bit of a makeshift sort of rig on the surf caster and out it's gone almost 400 meters so see if anything comes out on that now while waiting for this tide to rise once we get a bit more water here we should be able to go back to more traditional means of fishing but um get on the lads over there for taking our line out and splash your own hopefully hopefully we can get a couple of snapper on the table so stay tuned Snap for the table. Sorry about the wind again, guys, but hey, the cards have been dealt, but uh, that worked well. That worked well. Catch and cook coming soon. Stay tuned. Well, I'm billeting, <laughs> the GoPro starts shaking so it's attached to the, uh, the clamp. Sure enough, there's a fish on. Dinner's going to be ready soon though.
little bit small send it back Like the bite's starting to come on. A few more of these and we'll be looking pretty good. And there's a the bait. Fresh squid. Bait cottoned on, hooked up exposed, ready to rock. Let's get it out there. Fill it in ready. Take the frames back. I don't like wasting anything, so they'll probably go in the smoker. We're going to get out of here, get back up to the vehicle, and uh, cook up some of these fresh billets. So uh, we'll see you up at the truck. All right, well, we're back, and we've just decided we'll quickly uh, fry up a couple of the smaller billets just to finish up the night. Um, save the bigger one for later, probably so a bit more exciting with those. So fire up this on the little jet boil. She gets hot real quick. Chili oil. And a couple of snapper fillets. So we'll get these going, get some heat in it, we'll quickly fry these up. Oh, yum. To the victor goes the spoils. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Oh, it's real good. Oh, team, thanks for sticking around and watching another episode. It's not quite what we've been known to do, but uh, don't mind a bit of surf casting here and there, so. Thanks for sticking around. We're just going to finish having our munch and then head back home. See you on the next one.